What's going on guys, my name is Michael and welcome to Nocturnal Simulations. Today I'll be discussing a feature in the NVIDIA settings called Resizable Bar. This feature can make a significant impact on your gaming performance and today I'll be explaining what it is and how it works. Per NVIDIA, Resizable Bar is an optional PCI Express interface technology. As you move through a world in a game, GPU memory, VRAM, constantly transfers textures, shaders, and geometry via many small CPU to GPU transfers. With the ever-growing size of modern game assets, this results in a lot of transfers. Using Resizable Bar, assets can instead be requested as needed and sent in full, so the CPU can efficiently access the entire frame buffer. And, if multiple requests are made, transfers can occur concurrently rather than queuing. This could potentially help your stuttering issue within Microsoft Flight Simulator. Microsoft Flight Simulator is one of the most demanding games, as you guys know, on the market, and even high-end systems can struggle. So I did a little bit of experimenting and found that it does in fact help the performance of my PC within Microsoft Flight Simulator. Just as a reminder, I do run on a high-end machine utilizing Intel's i9-13900K processor and an NVIDIA 3080 Ti along with M.2 drives and 128GB of RAM. This also brings me to another note that you need to have an NVIDIA 3 series and above card to take advantage of this setting. What I did was load into a very dense area, JFK in this case, along with the Phoenix 8 through 20, which is known to be a resource hog. My graphics are also close to being maxed out. I then proceeded to spin my camera around in both a chaotic manner and again in a controlled manner while monitoring the performance. What you will notice is that while I still had some stuttering going on, it was significantly cut down by enabling this option. As for how to go about enabling Resizable Bar, you'll need to ensure your motherboard and CPU are also compatible with this feature, and have the latest BIOS installed. Each motherboard is different, so a quick Google search will show you how to go about turning this feature on if it's not enabled by default. You can check if Resizable Bar is enabled by going to your NVIDIA control panel, clicking System Information on the bottom left, and finding Resizable Bar. Yes means it's working and you're good to go! Since Resizable Bar is not an included game profile from NVIDIA, you will have to force this option on. To do this, you will need to download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector from GitHub, which I've included a link below. Extract the file somewhere and open the executable. This will bring up the following screen, and what you'll want to do is change the profile that is selected to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Then you'll scroll down to the section 5 called Common. And under there, you want to make sure R bar feature is enabled, and the next two options match these at 0x1 and 0x4. To wrap this up, click Apply Changes. Now go ahead and launch Microsoft Flight Simulator and see if this helps you. Do keep in mind that because everyone's systems are different, that this could potentially hurt your performance instead of help. If that is the unfortunate case, simply repeat the steps we just covered and disable the R bar. In conclusion, the resizable bar feature in the NVIDIA settings can make a big impact on your gaming performance, especially within Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope this helps smooth out some of your stutters as it did mine. Also, it does have the side effect of increasing your FPS some too, and if it did, let me know in the comment below and by how much. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video, and I will catch you next time.